Hello, I'm Rachel Lancaster. I am the founder of Magnificent Midlife and I thought I would stop by and tell you a little bit about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Well, if you've followed me at all on here, you'll know that I am passionate about changing the narrative about midlife and aging in general, and particularly as it relates to women, because it's much worse for women. Sorry guys, I know it's hard for you too, but when you look at what a woman has to cope with when they get older, I'm afraid it is a lot, lot worse. Um, you men may turn into silver foxes. We women don't very often get referred to as silver vixens. And I'm about changing all of that. And uh, there's so many narratives within our society, aren't there, that we get to a certain age and it's all downhill from there. You know, you've only got to work, walk into a, um, a card shop in the UK, for example, um, and it's commiserations when you turn 30. Um, and, and at 40, you know, you're really declining. And at 50, well, you might as well just give up, go and sit in the corner and keep quiet. Well, you can imagine, I don't really buy into any of that. And I don't want you to either. Um, I think it's really important that we start challenging ageism wherever we see it. And you know where it starts? It starts up here. It starts between our ears. Um, because we've bought into a lot of those narratives. So we may be thinking, oh, I'm too old to do this or too old to do that. Um, and, you know, if I haven't achieved this by this age, then, you know, I really need to be doing something about it or giving up the ghost and just forgetting all about it. You try telling that to the oldest female marathon runner in the London Marathon last weekend. She was 84. Um, and she goes running four days a week. And I just watched that little video on the BBC and I thought, my goodness me, if she can do it, so can I. Um, I did my first half marathon at 50, um, never having run particularly much before. I'd always run a bit, but nothing beyond um, 5K. And then I did 10K about three or four years ago. And then I decided uh, to do the half marathon at 50. Um, so, having watched my lady on the BBC, I may yet decide to do um, have a go at doing a marathon. But anyway, it's about time we stopped these ageist narratives um, because it affects women, particularly in the workplace. It affects our perception of who we are. Um, you know, we don't lose our beauty as we get older. Beauty evolves rather than diminishes. Um, we don't lose our relevance and we really need to stand up and feel confident because we bring so much wisdom and experience in the workplace and we need to change things so that that continues or becomes more valued. So you can see I'm on a bit of a mission. So I hope you'll join me, um, you know, and uh, I hope you enjoy the things that I'm posting on here. So how else could you get involved? Um, well, I have a Magnificent Midlife Members Club. Um, it's a monthly subscription. It's $29 a month, which is less than a dollar a day. Um, and that's where you get all the tools, strategies and connection you need um, to really make midlife and beyond magnificent because it's not just about midlife, it's about midlife up really. Um, and there's all sorts of things that we can learn about, that we can put in place to make sure that we thrive rather than just survive and that we can actually start creating the life that we're supposed to live um, rather than living the life we've ended up with. And that's certainly what I'm all about. I'm about, you know, women discovering their purpose and making the most of the next exciting stage of life. So there's no sitting in a corner for us. You know, we're going to go out there and do big things. Um, that, I'm afraid, is only for the ladies. Sorry, gents. Um, and uh, I also have one-to-one -one midlife mentoring, um, if that's more your cup of tea. I also have a podcast called The Magnificent Midlife Podcast, where I interview some amazing women doing fabulous things um, in midlife and beyond. Um, and you can find that on any good uh, podcast player. Um, I also have um, a free group on Facebook called The Flock, if you want to join that. So I hope that you will um, join me on this mission to challenge ageism wherever you see or hear it, starting with yourself, 
Don't allow yourself to have senior moments, for example. If you're under the age of 80, I just don't allow it. <laughs> um, never think you're too old for anything um, because it's your time to shine and uh, it's your time to do what you want with your life because midlife is an incredible time of opportunity and we have so much wisdom and experience to bring and I reckon the world really needs us. What do you think? So thanks for listening to me. Um, I look forward to keeping in touch. Bye-bye now.